Hey everybody, Joel from Mr. Checkout. So I just got off a call. They were a soap and bath bomb company based in Canada and they spent too much on packaging. So they went the natural route, but you know, I'm going to review the pitch. I'm going to review the negotiation. I'm going to go into kind of how it ended up. But you know, if you find that something resonates with you, you know, please hit the like button. You know, let YouTube know that you know, it's not spam. And you know, if you want to hear more about the inside conversations, you know, subscribe to our channel and we'd be happy to fill you in. But I want to hear about your company too. So in the comments, you know, put your link, you know, ask your questions, you know, I'll be happy to answer them. With this company, uh, Soap and Bath Bombs, you know, based in Canada, they were doing really well uh, with a couple major retailers, but they went the natural route with their packaging and it ended up costing them a lot more than they wanted on the shelf price. So you know, their shelf price for a bath bomb went from $5 to I think six fifty, and that ranged between six fifty to seven fifty on the shelf. And it was unsustainable. So they weren't seeing the in-store sales that they wanted to in Canada. So you know, based on the exchange rate, they brought it here to the US. They were doing really well in independent retail so far. Um, but they were only giving the retailers about 30% margin. So that was a tough one. Um, another mistake that they made was they sent their product at cost to a subscription box, you know, and they're not a B2C model. They didn't have a great website as far as, uh, you know, sign up and get a discount. You know, it, it was really a B2B business and they went the subscription box service which cost them a lot of money and a lot of time and they pretty much lost out on all that business because they weren't ready for the flood of uh, people coming to their site and they weren't converting the leads that did come to the site so they, they weren't really prepared for that success um, what we ended up doing was we have a we have a group of gift stores and independent boutiques. So we're testing them out in about 50 to 100 of those smaller independent gift stores. Um, they're selling at a higher retail margin. Uh, they were able to make that up based on their volume. So their stores are getting 50%. And hopefully once we get them into about a 50 to 100 stores or so, they'll be able to get that volume up to drop the, um, their cost which will allow for a distributor or wholesaler to come on board, make 20, 30% and really grow this brand because they've proven themselves in retail selling at a high price. You know, so we'd like to see that drop down to a more affordable price, um, be able to put them on more store shelves and taking advantage of this exchange rate, hopefully we'll be able to really um, build the business. So. Thank you so much for listening. If you have any questions, you know, I'd love to hear from you below. Uh, if not, see you next time.